Hello everybody, good evening, good evening. You are welcome to our channel. This is the Obunaya Abo case and this is Saturday night. This is 10 p.m. GMT plus one. And as we all know, every Saturday, every week, we pray by 10 p.m. GMT plus one. So you are very much welcome. We are glad that you are here. I'm glad that you are here. God is glad that you are here because anytime we come before him is an opportunity for him to influence our lives, to influence our affairs, to influence our situations, our families, our, our nations. It's an opportunity for God. It's a platform that God uses to in to superimpose his will, his desire upon the surface of the earth. So we are um, we are all very much welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, tonight is our fourth round in Psalm 23. For the um, last three consecutive weeks, we've prayed Psalm 3. And today, I believe, is the final day that we'll be praying from Psalm, sorry, Psalm chapter 23. Psalm chapter 23. We, we have seen how beautiful that scripture is. So we prayed it the first day, we could not finish it. The second day, we could not finish it. The third day, we could not finish it. And this is the fourth time we are praying from that psalm, from that beautiful psalm. And we believe because this um, today's prayer it will be from the last verse of Psalm 23. And by the grace of God, God is going to imprint Himself upon our lives. He's going to, He's going to, to do exactly that which he wants to do so you are very much welcome can we just begin to worship God tonight can we just begin to express our heart to pour out our hearts unto him let's pour out our hearts unto the one that reigns unto the king of kings unto the lord of lords let's pour our hearts aha let's pour our hearts he's the one that holds us he's the one that sustains us he's the one that carries us in his arms he's the one he's the one he rocks us to sleep he's our father he's our father the fatherhood of god talks about his his responsibility over you so when you say God is my father, you are saying that he is my source, he is my sustainer, he is my protector, he is my guide. That is what fathers do. Can we just begin to pour out our hearts? Salamina Jeke de Ruse Velandia on those Fendele Ruzi Venema Kambelenesia. We are here, we are here as Sute Velenga Mandele de Boje Farahandia. We have not come to see any man, we have not come to see any person, we have not come to show ourselves, but we have come to see the Father. We have come to fellowship with the Father and the Son. It was Apostle John that said that our fellowship. Is with the Father and the Son. We have come. <laughs> we have come. Man terre suleme gabalande. Es sute pelehande. Ruselele mande ke de balanandia. We have come. O shiga gadaba. Erre sute farahante pele ne kuvelandia. I have come. I don't know about you. The scripture will say in the book of Hebrews. It says, For you have come. Not unto a physical man, but you have come upon Mount Zion, the city of the living God. You are standing in the city of the living God. You are standing in the presence of the Almighty God. Say you have come to the innumerable company of angels. So you are standing in the company of angels. He said you have come to God, who is the judge of all. So you are standing before God. God, who is the judge of all he says you have come to the church of the firstborn so you are standing among the saints he says you have come to the to, to Jesus who is the mediator of the new covenant so you are standing before Jesus he says you have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. so you are standing before the blood where there is no condemnation <laughs> Where there is no condemnation, Amana Kabala Rehazivela Tanya. So, can you just begin to have that consciousness that you are standing in God's presence, that you are standing among His holy angels, that you are standing before Jesus, who is 
are mediator. You are standing. You are standing before the blood. Therefore, there is no guilt, no condemnation. <laughs> so you can come and the blood will wash you clean. You know, you are there and the devil has been plaguing your mind. The devil has been plaguing you with guilt over the things you did in the past, over, over the last sin you committed. He has been plaguing you with the guilt. But tonight, can you say, I have come before the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I come by the blood in the name of Jesus. I know I have missed it. I know I have gone astray. But Jesus, by your blood, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Let the blood wash me clean in the name of Jesus. And and you are there. He has been he has been plaguing your mind with guilt. You know, you 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 did this thing and you've asked God for mercy, you've asked God for forgiveness, but yet the devil keeps plaguing your mind that God has not forsake for has not forgiven you. That 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 that, that sin is too big for God to just wipe away. Are you there this night? I speak unto you as of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are already forgiven. He says that God forgives when you ask for mercy. He extends his mercy unto you. He extends his forgiveness unto you. So that sin, that sin, God has forgiven you. Can you just bask in that forgiveness? Can you just bask in that, in that, in that newness that he has granted you and say to the devil, I am forgiven by the blood. I am forgiven by the blood. Amande solo combaratalia. Resute Pakalia Tosi Makabalanda because if you are still having that guilt, you, you cannot approach. You know, guilt rids you of boldness, it takes away your boldness from you. When you are still, you know, full of guilt and condemnation, you cannot approach the courts of heaven, you cannot approach the courts of God. You cannot enter. You cannot enter. You will not be bored to enter. But tonight you are forgiven by the blood. In the name of Jesus, your sins are wiped by the blood. In the name of Jesus, your sins are forgotten by the blood. In the name of Jesus, can you just go ahead with that boldness, with that confidence, not a bold arrogance, but a, 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 a reverence for God. For you are coming confidently because you know the work of the blood. In the name of Jesus, we worship you tonight, Father. To the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Mano Shekabaramia. The blood that speaks of forgiveness, of mercy rather than judgment. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jagada Baba Babalata, Rekete Kete Kete Baka Pendos Kevaria Tabalata, Rekepele Yatosi Fananaha. Can you just declare to yourself, I have come to the blood, I have come to Jesus, who is the mediator of the new covenant, I have come to God, who is the judge of all, I have come, I am standing in the midst of the angels, I am standing upon the holy mount of the Lord, I am standing upon Mount Zion, I have come to the holy hills, oh. Oh, jekete pele rus efende pele naka rekopretiv rhalia to beledeha meneke pala na mashenda ripano rapalata reprefende kapala na mantene ne masiata elendesh entoferia tapaha reprefende meneke pala na terendo ropa babalta erke pele nos enfana na mantene ne pa reko sevene nia na mala na milia no 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 no
worship you, Jesus. We have come to give you the praise, Jesus. We have come to worship you, Jesus. Me shune me kabala naya. Reprefe de pala kute pele kebede riata. Reprefe le tana na mat kute mene niya. Reprefe niya tana na man tevele niya. Le ne shaba baba na kia tu na vele niya. Le me renu shevele me ne rendu rabala tana na. Me shuse fe ne mana kabala na yele ne mania. The psalmist who said, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh that is within me. Bless his holy name. Ah, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and do not forget his benefits. Ah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. He said he's the one that forgiveth you your iniquities. Oh, Jekadaba. He says as far as the east is from the west. So, so um, God has separated us from our in, in iniquities. Can you just say, Father, we thank you. Father, I give you the praise. I honor you tonight. I honor you tonight. You are my Lord. You are my King. I honor you tonight. Manasu de Peria. Kuvelene mene malata. For you are the great I am. I honor you tonight. You are the great God. I honor you tonight. You are the merciful God. I honor you tonight. You are the faithful God. I honor you tonight. You are an awesome God. I honor you tonight. You are a glorious God. I honor you tonight. You are the one that sits upon the circles of the earth. I honor you tonight. Oh, you are the one that holds me in the palm of your hands. I honor you tonight. Oh, you are the one you lead me in the way that I should go. Oh, I honor you tonight. You are the one that takes care of my soul. I honor you tonight. Oh, you are the one that takes care of my family, my parents, my siblings, my wife, my husband, my children. You are the one. You are the one. You are the one that sustains us. You are the one. You are the one that keeps us whole. You are the one. You are the one that directs our path. You are the one. You are the one that shows up, shows us the way. You are the one. You are the one that provides our food. You are the one. You are our source. We do not say that a man is our source. God forbid that. We say that you are our source. Oh, Sheman Gatos Ria Propalata. It is in you that we move. It is in you that we live. In you that we have our being. That we have our existence. We give you the praise, Father. We give you the praise, King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords, keep on the Skividia, Coberia, Vetepene, Kebalata, O Rascufele, Tetepele, Temene, Kibaha, Reprefete, Tepacapala, Naman, Terro, Rehegete, In Sosefele, Tetepele, Nomaha, Ercofe, Tenemendos, Eferiata, Menene, Mango, Preteria, Varhanti, Pelata, Recratilanto, Shevarhanti, Palatosia, is your voice rising up to God tonight? That is what we have come to do is your voice rising up to God tonight oh jekanayato dia divele rendo farhania there is nothing like a prayer if you are not in the courts and David says I will enter his gates with thanksgiving I will enter his courts with praise there is a protocol to entering there is a protocol to entering and as as long as you don't enter, every prayer you are making is nothing, is doing nothing, is causing no effect. It is when you stand in the courts of heaven that you can make your prayers and it is effective upon the other. Oh, can you ascend tonight? In your consciousness, can you ascend? Palada, Erre Kofer Handilia Tove Letene Mahando, Erre Credo, Meneteila Baladu Freka Bahade, Refra Handele de Bush Efra Hande Pelete, Rakatile Verihando Veletene, Menenos Ifalanama Caprenu Rapapa, Roquate Nepele Refra Hande Rehende Veliada, Refrandele de Bush Efene Maha, Lentos and Faram de Recratila Tose Felida, Menebente Peletiana Mantele de Bush and Terriaca Palata, Rakatile de Pelete Bahane, Rofeletele de Bush Efreno. Rapabalata, Rakatil and Montevale Hanana Majoram de Reprofeti, Lantos Evelenica Baba Balande de Bojaha, Rakati Pedemente Veleniata Balanamaki Balanati Adabaja Pediata. Ea Shapa Palatosia, in the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen. There's someone out there. You know, in the recent past, you've been passing through a lot, you've been going through a lot of 
um, challenges from one um, thing to the other, from one thing to the other, and it's as though you are fed up with life, you are fed up with God. You are saying, God, where are you? You are saying, God, if you were, if, if, if you were, I have believed you all my life, but I'm beginning to doubt your existence. If you are there, can you just help me? So you are faced with this, this, this kind of stormy situations, stormy situations, stormy situations, and it's as though you want to give up. It's as though you want to, you want to put your hand into something that is not godly. You know it is not godly, but because of the pressure, because of the pressure, because of the pressure, you are about to do something that you will not be proud of. God is telling you tonight, don't do that. God is telling you tonight changes at the bend of a transformation at the bend of a change of level there, there is always friction you know before the night transits into day it gets the darkest and then it transits into day it says sorrows may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning God is saying that your morning is at hand he's saying that your morning is at hand be faithful hold your faithfulness dear to your heart hold your faithfulness don't budge to the pressures of darkness you know the darkness they, they they want you to compromise on the standards of the lord darkness wants you to compromise on the standards of the lord but god is saying say no say no in the name of jesus i am telling you say no the scripture is talking about job there is a stance i want i want us to all have the scripture talking about Job, he says, Job said, when he passed through all those calamities that befell him, his children all dead, his business dead, his body dead. So he was afflicted on all fronts. It was only his wife because the devil wanted to use his wife to oppress him too. So the wife told him, cause God and die. So he lost his business, lost his children in one day, lost his health in one day, and the wife in was telling him cause God and die now Job said something he said even though he slay me even if it's God that is doing all these things even though he slay me yet will I trust that's the stance I want you to have that regardless of what is happening in your life regardless of what the devil throws at you regardless of what life throws at you even though <laughs> Let's, let's even assume that it is God doing those things to you, yet will I trust. It's a stance of those that are mature. And that's what I want you to do to, that's the point I want you to come to. If not, situations will keep swaying, swaying you up and down. When you are, when the situations are right, oh God, I love you. When the situations are not right, you'll be like, God, are you still there? No, 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 that's not the place of maturity. That is not the place of maturity. So make up your mind that regardless of the storm, you are rooted in God. Jesus was in that boat when they were crossing over, when they were on the sea, and the storm came. Jesus was in the boat. So the storm could come to Jesus. Yes. Those are the storms of life. But he rose and dealt with the storm. And I declare over you tonight, in the name of Jesus, I speak to the storm, be still in the name of Jesus. I speak to you storm, be still in the name of Jesus. Peace, shalom unto you in the name of Jesus. I declare that whatsoever is undergoing a storm in your life, is it your marriage? Is it your career? Is it your business? Is it your relationship? According to the will of the Father, I declare peace in the name of Jesus. And I declare peace to your heart in the name of Jesus. You will not give up. You will not give in in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 
so we'll move right into psalm 23 um like our manner is we'll read from verse 1 and then we'll get to the verse that we're praying with tonight so psalm 23 a popular psalm the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green, in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou prepared a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life this was where we stopped last week so we prayed up to this point so the prayer for this week is and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever i will dwell in the house of the lord forever let me read another psalm to, to portray what the psalmist was saying here he says i will dwell in the house of the lord forever so it was the desire of the psalmist to always stand in the presence of god psalm 27 right verse 4 he says one thing have i desired of the lord that i will do what that i will dwell okay sorry one thing have i desired of the lord and will i seek after so he was saying one thing i have desired of the lord and that will i seek after so what was that desire he says that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life you see the same prayer the same desire he said that i will dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life now the point i want to bring up from this um this psalm i'm reading now is this other part of the verse he says what was he going to be doing in the house of the lord he said to behold the beauty of his countenance and to inquire in his holy temple so that's what we'll be praying number one that we will do what we will behold the beauty of his countenance the beauty of his countenance so you are you are you are going into the presence not because you want something from god you are fellowshipping with god not because you want him to do something in your life but you are going to behold his beauty to behold his beauty is a place of intimacy it's a place of intercourse can you just begin to pray and say father my desire is that i would dwell in your house to behold your beauty oh jagaman de resude bele kembre suvele ne kabalata we are talking about the presence of the lord we are saying god help us to dwell with you help us to to fellowship with your spirit to fellowship with your presence to be carriers of your presence oh jagande pelerenzi fene mantana kade bella nosia look at the desire of a man say one thing have i desired of the lord one thing this is my utmost priority one thing have i desired that i would dwell that i would dwell that i would dwell for some of us we've been coming and going you enter the secret place you leave but the psalmist is saying there is a place of dwelling in the secret place every passing time you are in there you are fellowshipping with the father you have gone into a deep communion with the father that even as you walk on the road you are communing is a state of oneness can you just say father help me to achieve this practical state of oneness in the name of jesus that in practice i will be one with you not just in theory that god has sent forth his son to us to bring us into a state of oneness but not not just that theory that in practice in practice in my experience i will be in a state of oneness with you 
the state of fellowship all the days of my life. Can you just go ahead and make that request and say, Father, man, there is a baron, 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 there is a Activities in the name of Jesus. Ma sute pela ku previ katu seferia. Repivilia tu vele teke pele na malata. Rekitu li pala nosia. This is a pure desire. This is a pure request. We are not saying Father, um, 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 provide for us today. We are not saying Father, show us the way to go. We are saying Lord, help us to be intimate with you. Help us to be intimate with you. Mene ke pele ruse fene tiye ke pele te. Tele man, tele ne man, no si vena na. The psalmist will say, "Quicken me, and I will call upon your name." He takes a quickening of the spirit to be able to commune, to be able to commune with the Father. Can you say, "Lord, quicken me, that I will be able to call upon your name"? Quicken me, O God. Quicken me, O God. Me ne ruse pa luteni kuvelete na resute kepela inkuvelete me rua selua digua delede repuvelende kapala no. Sune malakabante le deboshi aga. Erika balada balata, mende bende le de pederia kavalatia, rakati belende beleni kavalada, rekrati le venna malanati eshki beliada, melenia kavalani je beledia kavalati e belenia nata, rekapa baba 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 tongues uh, and pray in the spirit uh, that is what God is saying we should do for the next couple of minutes just focus on him uh, and pray in the Holy Ghost Falatale ya tovelete, arakute vente pele no falatande pele ya tovelete ya kapalande ruose frehande kradoda, raklanti le de mente pele ni ya kababa, mele de mente le de bojeram de reprovele ni ya, akaye tono mova ni ya vende mente pele ni ya kabalaram de reprovele ni ya ta, mene 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 Rabba <laughs> 
is raining oh is raining oh shaka baladi eh is raining oh jinia tabala da vile de guia da manana limane zebelania belene malia to beladi gana na mane riva la na manana belene malada lene jibana ya te bala na ma riva flo riva flo riva flo jekete malana mane refrana malata since i've been stayed up in your life since i've been stayed up since i've been stayed up me soy la mana vinda malata he says that of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters uh. there is a flow tonight uh. there is a flow tonight uh. there is a flow tonight uh. things have been stirred up uh. the water in you is being stirred up uh. the river of life in you is being stirred up mereto jebaram de reprobala nie de vele de kete ba raba ba 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 lega ni mele ne mene ma rzi vele de ma le ne vele ne me ni yale ne ma jeme ne ma na ne rive de ya te vele ne ya kama na ma la na ma na ma la na ma na ma na ma you have been awakened raku te vele Tebelene maram der reprova balata Rafelene tabala nama Tebelene ya kamelele ma Jaram der reprova lani kibene ya ta Menene jarando fele Teka baba balana You have been awakened You have been awakened Oh shaka baba Mene rendo veriati balana Oh Jesus we thank you We worship you God We give you the praise We give you the praise We give you the praise In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. So we are talking about the presence. The presence. The presence. The presence. The presence of the Lord is what makes the difference in lives. The presence. The presence. The presence. Psalm 114, verse 1 and 2. It says, When Israel left Egypt, when your children left Egypt, he said, Judah was your sanctuary. Israel, Israel, Israel was your dominion. He said the sea saw it and fled. Judah was his sanctuary, talking about the presence. Israel was his dominion, talking about the power. So the presence of God comes with the power of God. So the sea saw it and fled. What did they see? The presence of the Lord. That's, that sound will bless you. Let's let's just read it. Psalm one one four. Psalm one one four. Because it is at the presence that things happen. Psalm one one four, from verse one. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. Now, Israel was in bondage in Egypt. And from this scripture, we are seeing that how they left that state of bondage was by the presence. It says, when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language so you may be in that situation where you are like i am among a people that is not my home i am among a situation that is not in tandem with my home i am in a state of bondage it's as though i am in bondage in this area of my life is though i'm not progressing in that area of my life what you need to move out of that state of bondage is the presence it says, verse 2, Judah was a sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like rams and the little hills like lambs. What a lady, O thou see, the psalmist began to inquire, that thou fledest. 
thou Jordan that thou was driven back, ye mountains that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like lambs, tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. So he came to the conclusion that these things happened by virtue of the presence. So the next round of this prayer, you are going to be praying in the spirit, but in your mind, bring those situations that it seems as though you are in bondage. Bring those circumstances that are not in line with the will of God. Have them in your heart. Is it your spouse? Is it your children? Is it your job? Is it financial issues? Is it whatever it is? Whatever it is, have it in your mind as you pray in the spirit. You will be unleashing the presence. <laughs> Let me tell you, doors, doors open on the account of who is before the door. So that you are in front of a door and it has not opened. There is a presence that will come before that door and that door will fling open. He said, I am the one that opened the door and no man can shut. That's the presence. So tonight, whatsoever it is, whatsoever door has been locked before you, present God's presence to it tonight. So what I want you to do, this is a deliberate work. It's, it, it's, 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 a, it, it's something you do deliberately and be specific. So those situations begin to put them in your heart. Put them in your heart. Put them in your heart as we begin to pray in the spirit for the next two, three minutes or thereabout. Put them in your heart. Those situations that need to change. And you are saying that on account of the presence of the Lord, you will change. Your, uh -huh. No situation can defy God's presence. Little wonder, Moses said, cried out, if you do not go with us, if your presence does not go with us, we are not going anywhere. He understood that it was the presence that is the difference the presence is what will set them apart for you see how will how what will make what will distinguish us from other nations the unbelievers are passing through this thing we are passing through it what makes the difference it is the presence when the presence is with us it separates us it's, it's a mark of separation so call those situations back to your heart put them in your mind as you begin to pray in the spirit tonight, ha ha. Ah, le sute ki bani vene man dono podo kuvele na kabala ni vele ne kabala na te recovery andi vele ni ashke vele ne mene mene de barra frehin de vele ni akabala na ta ta. Rofi te mene ki vele no ashke vele na lembante si vene na ki afino no falatia. The angel told Mary, "He said, for with God nothing is impossible." Mary said, "How shall these things be? You are looking at the situation and you are." Asking how shall these things be? Ah, sheka pele rise finto velaka mene rise falia don boda on how it will be the holy ghost the holy ghost will do with that is a work of the spirit he says the holy ghost will come upon you the power of the almighty will overshadow you it is the workings of the spirit and with the spirit of god there is nothing like impossibility in the name of jesus we pray Kapa Ros Efentolo Moko Bendo Rafriki Toa Mene Sunepe Kwander was a Varianto Veleneka Mentele de Bos Eria Varanto Velete Menene Kupele to Valanana Mash Kotada Rosi Vende Pelecandaria Covelani and Doveleniana Lambondo Vendeke de Mendele Gamana Rosele Ragadalana Mandele de Bosgerian do Rovelete In Son of Vende Mendomo Mombadine Kiano Velenin de Mau. Lene no zevene kimenia no valana mina kovelene nana refando no bolo konde riagada bendele ne manaradada ragada da na bata da bata da eragada da pa 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 mene no zele ria varam dele ni ano velene jeke deke de velene o zezene o zezene o mente no shala beru a vende ria kaparam de ru a velene ku velene te u velene ku balanantia do veriam do ro velete rakute peila no zezene 
Tene mano ko velende ki do no menda la gadia go bondo berriando Rekende peladino berriando ro veleniata Mene kaido se fe la mando Ele nein zorro frekito Mene iko pelendo rafarande lido velene ko velene Lene ni sofora guerrea sovarande le melendo velenia kapala Resuse feletu baba baku vedege Ugutu bede kanamu rugutu regete Eria gadunze fela, mantonze lindo veria gabendo vendele kido ve, mantonde vindele cambro frigridus evru gadi, ragadi nevra gadi e crozi vrandele mangiano, lambondo geram de riglem vandendo benene, lambro zivrande veleninge vendo belene gem venamande, landa rakra de velene venena, rabababababa, meraganda madabalada badabalada, rakama mabababa, me pen. Lele mendel le kambro no ropa la da Rene ne bala na bala da bala da Erra ka no bala na ba Le skopre ne rifra halia to bolo do Nele ne ba Roma ma ba ta Ele te ne manto no kombre no ropa ba Rafante bala nos e fen ha Me no ka fli ruas e fen la to Nele de ponze fele ka da Ruas e fen te pele na manto la ka da Rafante pele ne ando mono komo Re kratos e fala na Me le ne mos en te li bara vre no ropa ba ha Ruas en se ve la to no Motovaha, e ka pa 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 ha Ro ka pa la tan te pele da ha Re su te pa ha Me nen to na man ha Me nen to na man ha Me nen to na man ha He says once again ha in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and the desire of the nations will come unto you. Me suse fe kumpene kumbede tia kumbro no ro pravi me rakaniam in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shakes the earth once again. The desires of the nations, the treasures of the nations aggregate in our direction. In the name of Jesus, me soso fene men teke men de le banda roa se mram de raklandi vele no se vala da mon vede ne ba landen kinde vele mbrom de riklande de da bose vela na ki adona me ne 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 ke de pala na bala na the Lord shakes the earth in the name of Jesus and we are moved forward in the in the name of Jesus, there is a disruption that moves us forward. In the name of Jesus, we advance, we make progress. Le rus e falanita, mene kabando rafrem de riklatos e faha, mene tonomo no veni manaka mene ruasiha, rapa pa 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 pa, you rest soto balana, you know. You know, the, 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 when God wants to deliver, He does not <laughs> deliver silently. He says, and Peter was in the, in the prison. He said, and there was an earthquake. There was a shaking. The, 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 ah, what I was seeing in my spirit was like shakings, shakings, shakings that would propel us forward, that would move us forward, that would advance us, shakings of the earth. So the, the Lord will shake the earth and he will, by that shaking, he will move us forward. I declare over you in the name of Jesus whatsoever your desire I see an arrow moving pointing forward and God is saying that you are living where you are currently are and you are moving forward in whatsoever area of your life that you have presented before God tonight you are living that state and you are making progress you are moving beyond that state you are going forward in the name of Jesus it means that you are delivered from that situation because you are no more in the situation you are you have left the situation and you advance in the name of Jesus by virtue of the presence of the Lord oh Jesus we thank you Shaba Babalata Eraki Suvelende Makabaha Oh, gente filo combre di resco frente la man de recovery suvelania shkamanana zosofika man de rus e frekiru asifrehenia zefeko balagua e ketosia menekem balanosha resusefelia. I want you to have this consciousness as we begin to wrap up our prayers tonight. I want you to have this consciousness of God's presence. So as you are moving through the day, be conscious that you are carrying God. 
you are carrying God you cannot be stranded in the name of Jesus I declare over you you will not be stranded in life in the name of Jesus I declare over you you would have favor you are not disfavored you are the favored of the Lord you are the one that has received the mercy of God you are the vessel of his mercy in the name of Jesus in that project in that thing that you are saying Lord can I be the one that will be chosen I declare in the name of Jesus the Lord distinguishes you in the name of Jesus I declare that the oil of gladness comes upon you right now in the name of Jesus for that particular assignment for that particular project you are anointed for it in the name of Jesus that anointing distinguishes you from your mates from your contemporaries in the name of Jesus ah so in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for we are confident that when you hear us in line with your will, you answer in the name of Jesus. Thank you for every request. Thank you for the 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 the, the purity of our desire tonight to dwell in your presence, to dwell in your house, to fellowship with your spirit. Father, Lord, we thank you for you bring us into a deeper dimension of fellowship. You bring us into a deeper realm in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we commune with your spirit. Be thou exalted, King of glory. Be thou exalted, Lord God Almighty. For we know you are with us. You are in us. You live through us. You walk in us. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Now, something is coming to my heart and I'll briefly share it with you. The aim, the aim, the, 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 the eternal purpose of God is that you be conformed to the image of His Son, Jesus. So everything we do as a believer, everything we do should, should, should move us into that state of conformity with the Son. So, the question I have for you tonight is, are you conforming to Jesus? Your lifestyle, is it conforming with how Jesus lived while he was on earth? Are you conforming or have you lost that purpose and you are chasing shadows? You are, you are chasing other things and you are messing yourself up. God is telling you tonight, my eternal purpose is that you be conformed to the image of my son. I have sent my son Jesus as a prototype to show you the way you are to live. Is your life in conformity to the son, to Jesus? That should be your goal every passing day. Lord, that I will be, that I will live my life as Jesus lived this life on earth. God bless you. God bless you and as we all keep striving to attain that state, Ephesians chapter 4 will tell us that he has given unto us apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers that they will train us, they will train the saints so that we all can come to the fullness of the stature, the fullness of the stature of Jesus Christ. I want you to make that your life goal every day strive to be like jesus strive strive to be like jesus strive to live your life like jesus when you see anything that is not in tandem with with, with, with the character of jesus don't permit it in your life get angry against it you see yourself um um gets um living strife you see yourself tell a lie you see yourself um do something that is not in tandem with the character of Jesus. Don't just, don't just um, say, ah, Father, forgive me. No, get angry. Say, oh. Sometimes you need to be hard on yourself. Sometimes I think about my life and I'm like, 
am I really the one that did this? Am I? God help me. God help me. Help me to be better. That is the state you are meant to have. It's not a it's not a sorrow of condemnation. It's a godly soul and godly anger. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Do have a wonderful night rest. Bye.